Hello everyone, and welcome back for part two of this series on creating games with, with Construct 2. Uh, in part one, we took a brief look at what Construct 2 is, and now in part two, we're going to work on adding and creating sprites to our game. So let me switch back over to Construct 2. This is the empty layout that I finished on in part one. And to add sprites to our game, or any object in general, uh, we can click anywhere, we can double click anywhere um, in our layout. So if I just double click here, I get this insert new object um, box. And if I look down a little bit, I can choose sprite. And a sprite is gonna be basically any kind of character that we wanna add to our game. So uh, maybe it's a character or, character or an obstacle or an enemy or something like that all those things we're gonna add using the sprite object so the first uh, first thing first sprite I'm gonna add here is just a player object or a player sprite so I'll, I'll give it the name player I'll click insert and once I do that I'll get this crosshair on the screen so using this crosshair I can click anywhere and that's where it's gonna insert my sprite so now I get the edit image um, box popping up so I've got a bunch of different things up here if I had already created an image I could load it in using this load image from file so if I click that I can actually scroll to anything that I've created before I've got a couple assets here that I've created for a different game uh, but I'm gonna just basically create a simple square box for right now um, so I've got this box here in the middle and this diagonal angled arrow right here if we hover over says resize so if I click that I'm gonna resize this box to 50 by 50 then I'm gonna come over here to the paint uh, the paint bucket and go over further to the left select a color I've got a nice red color selected and to fill this object I just need to simply click somewhere within the somewhere within that square um, this is this is kind of a limited image editor for these simple examples uh, making these squares kind of works fine but in the future to make a, a serious game you probably want to create your own images sprites stuff like that maybe use paint or inkscape any kind of program Photoshop that you're familiar with to create your sprites or you can pull them down uh, somewhere copyright free hopefully uh, from the internet or buy them so a bunch of different options there, but like I said, just for now, creating this simple, uh, simple square for our player. So if I X this out, I should see my player, my uh, square player now on the screen. I've got some buttons around them so I can click and resize. And this middle button, I can click to rotate. And if you notice while I'm doing this, these properties over here are changing. So now this angle property here will change as I rotate. So again, whatever we select from our layout or from these files over here will show its properties over here on the left. So I'm going to change his angle back to zero and I will resize him to 50 by 50 and then I could change his position but I could just drag him around also. Um, so now I'm going to create another sprite. So again, just double click on the screen then I'll choose sprite and I'm going to create a platform sprite so I'll name it platform so this tutorial will kind of follow along a simple platform game uh, so I'll insert that and then use my crosshair to create the platform sprite and I'll do the resize again I'm gonna leave 250 as the width and then change the height to 25 so I've got kind of a rectangular object. I'll come over to the paint bucket and select a blue color and fill that in. And it's a very simple platform. So I've got a copy of this platform on here now. And let's say in this game I want to have multiple copies of the platform. So I could either control C, control V, and then I get a crosshair to place him somewhere. Or if you hold down the control button, you can hold it down and then click and drag off of one of these platforms to create more platforms so it's really handy and a little bit easier a little bit quicker than control uh, than copy and pasting maybe so let me drag I'm gonna put a bunch of these on here just for the next the next step is where we're gonna get into behaviors <coughs> excuse me so I've got a bunch of these platforms on here so that's 
that's very simply how to create sprites and the next video we're gonna work on giving these sprites some behavior some built-in uh, kind of logic to our characters and our obstacles and our platforms and stuff like that. So stay tuned for part three.